Hello, this is Dr. Christopher here. A very warm welcome to my channel. Today I will be discussing about development of tongue. The tongue develops from the pharyngeal arches in the floor of the developing mouth. The pharyngeal arches arises as a mesodermal thickening in the lateral wall of the foregut. As we know, there are six pharyngeal arches. So the first pharyngeal arch, second, third, fourth, and actually sixth. The fifth one disappears. This laterally is known as grooves, pharyngeal grooves and medially is known as pouches. This medial part of arch proliferate to form two lingual swellings which are partially separated by a tubercular impa. We have two lingual swellings and a tuberculum impa. medially in between the first arch. This tuberculum impa downgrow to form thyroglossal duct which in later develops the thyroid gland. This site is subsequently marked as a depression called foramen seca. Another midline swelling is seen in relation to second third and fourth arch. This swelling is called hypobrachial eminence which is also known as copula which divides into cranial part relation to second and third arches. We see we have a copula or hypobrachial eminence which has a cranial part which related with relation to second arch and a caudal part with relation to fourth arch. This caudal part forms the epiglottis part. So I will discuss these lingual swellings, tubercular impar, foramen schecum, the hypobrachial eminence cranial part and a caudal part. Lingual swellings Tuberculum impar, the cranial part, the caudal part, the anterior two third of the tongue is formed by the is formed by fusion of these two lingual swelling and some portions of the tuberculum impar. The anterior two-third of the tongue is formed by the fusion of tuberculum impar and also with the two lingual swellings. The red and orange have given the color code which forms the anterior two-third. The posterior one-third is formed by the copula. The posterior one-third of the tongue is formed by the copula, the second arch mesoderm which gets buried below the surface. 
the third arch mesoderm cross over to fuse with, with the first arch. The most posterior part is formed by the fourth arch. If you see a lateral view of tongue, the anterior two third is formed by first arch. The third arch overlaps the second arch and the most posterior part is formed by the fourth arch. Coming to the nerve supply of the tongue, this anterior two-third is supplied by lingual nerve which is branch of mandibular nerve and also by cauda tympanic nerve which is pre nerve. pre nerve means the nerves which runs along the caudal border of the arch and the lingual nerve is a post nerve which runs cranial border of the arch. The posterior one third is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve which gives the posterior one third taste sensation as well as general somatic sensory. The most posterior part is supplied by superior laryngeal nerve which is a branch of vagus now. The muscles of the tongue are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve except the palatoglossus muscle which is innervated by the vagus nerve. I hope you like the class. Thank you for watching.